Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Trickett, and you guys are all amazing. And today, yes, it is hump day, but more importantly, it is winning Wednesday, guys. That's right, because if you're not winning, and then what are you doing, right? What's the opposite of winning? Losing, and there are no losers here. So check this out, guys. Let me show you how to raise your vibration. And what I mean by that is we're going to breathe in some good stuff. We're going to breathe in some good blessings for us. And we're going to breathe out all the negativity. Let's do some breathing exercise, guys, and jump right into this on this Winning Wednesday. And let me show you guys how to keep winning. Check this out. So breathing calms your mind. Breathing calms your, just calms you down. Okay? And so we want you calm. We want you in that beta state. You know, you're kind of like, you know, relaxed. And that's exactly where we want you. Now, before you even do this, you're going to have to find a quiet place, shut off the phone for at least 10 minutes. This doesn't take a long time, but at least 10 minutes you have to give yourself because you are investing in you. You've invested in somebody else's dream on the job. You invested, you know, in somebody else's life, helping them out. Now it is now it is time to set all that aside. You've invested in the kids and the wife and the husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever. But now it is time to invest in you. Because a better you is a better experience for the people that meet you. <laughs> so let's start with this uh, breathing exercise. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna breathe in through our nose and we wanna breathe in big to where like your stomach, like you can feel your stomach suck in, okay? Because we wanna get those abdominal muscles, you know, when we, when we breathe in, we wanna breathe it in, right? And when we're breathing in, when we breathe in, I want you to be thinking in your mind and I want you to be saying, I'm breathing in all of the good that God has for me. Or if that's too religious for you, I'm breathing in all of the good that the universe has for me. Okay? So, once again, we're going to breathe it through our nose. And when you're breathing in, I want you to be thinking in your mind. I want you to be saying while you're breathing in that you are breathing in, okay? That you are receiving all of the good that God has for you today. Or you are receiving all of the good the universe has for you today. And I say today because yesterday is history, tomorrow's a mystery, but today, baby, if we're alive, and then we live. <laughs> so you might as well make something good out of it, right? Okay, so we're going to breathe in. We're breathing in all of the good God or the universe has for us. It's all made by the same one person. So we can play with the names. It doesn't matter. We just want to get you where you need to be and that's on a better path and a happier life right okay so we're going to breathe in all the good God has for us and we are going to exhale breathe out all of the negativity that was in us and I say was because it's past tense so we don't put up any resistance saying no I didn't have any uh, no negativity in me or not. we don't do any of that all right we just claim that junk and we keep on pushing right so we own up to it and we just say breathing in all the good God has for me breathing out all the negativity that was in me breathing in all the good God has for me Breathing out all the negativity that was in me. 
And that's it, guys. That's how we're going to clear our mind. We're going to be able to refocus. If you had a thousand thoughts scattered all over the place, if you were stressing or worried over something, this is how you're going to calm yourself and get into that. You know what? It's going to be all right. moment. So here we go. We're going to do three good breathing exercises. Okay. Now here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in all the good God has for you. Breathe out all the negativity that was in you. One more. Breathe in all the good that God has for you. Breathe out all the negativity that was in you. Now, you might even want to do that two or three more times. But for video's sake, I just want to cut it short. So now that we have did that breathing exercise, now I want you to just think about, think about what you want, what you desire what you would like to accomplish or think about someone you know that's sick and you would like to see them well or someone that you know without a job and you would like to see them with the job or someone in a bad relationship and you know they would like to see that worked out Whatever you see, see it in your mind's eye right now. Now, I want you to go straight to the end in your mind's eye. You are the author and the finisher of your faith. You are writing the story of your life. You are, by what you think and what you speak, you have come to the place you are today. So since you are the author and the finisher of your faith, and since you believe that whatever a man thinks or a woman, as a man thinks, so is he. As a woman thinks, so is she. She will become, he will become what he thinks. As a man believes, let it be done unto him. As a man believes, as a woman believes, let it be done unto him or her. It's effortless, guys. You say, well, I have to do some work. This is the work. It's all spiritual. It's not physical from the sweat of the brow. We're on a deeper level here, a higher level, a powerless level, a limitless level. When you're in the spirit realm. So see whatever it is. If it's someone sick, see them well. And you know what they would be doing if they would be well working, working in their garden, walking, happy, whatever the case may be, that's exactly how you see them. And then you write a script and have a conversation with them, how they're telling you how well they feel and how good they're doing now. And if they didn't have a job, how they have a job now and everything's working out wonderful for them. And if they were in a bad relationship, how everything turned around and it's working out just great for them. Or if they wanted a new relationship, how they found a new love in their life and they're just 
right. But imagine, when you were a child, you could imagine anything because you didn't know about the negative states. They weren't programmed into your mind. Fear wasn't program, programmed into your mind. It was programmed into your parents. So they would say, stop, be careful, due to their fear, when you was fearless. When they got scared of something, you would automatically get scared of it because every time they got scared, they would be programming you of what their fears were and putting them on you, not meaning to. It's just is. So whatever you want to see for whoever it is, it can be done for yourself or whomever. Just see it in your mind right now. Go to that place. See them well. See them with a job. See them happy. See them married. See them making better grades. Whatever it is, see it in your mind. Because you know, as a man thinks, let it be done unto him. The work is here. This is the work. Taking time to meditate, to push that spiritual power out there, that spiritual energy, that positive energy because we got rid of all the negativity before we even did this. So we wouldn't take no junk with us. Now the blessing can roll for you or anyone else that you want because now you are in that realm. You're in that limitless realm. You can do this for anything, for everything. And the more you do this, the stronger you'll get. And the more you do this, the faster what you're meditating on will come to you. Because you won't have any resistance. Most people always have resistance, which is fear, which is doubt, which is negativity. And that's why we release all of that. The negative thinking the negative speaking, we just get rid of all of it. And we wipe that slate clean and we enter into that state of love, of pure positivity, of pure bliss, of just, of love. And we go into that state and we see who we can help. Who needs a job? Who needs a healing? Who needs some money? Who needs a blessing? Someone needs a blessing. Even the man or the woman in the mirror, they need a blessing too. So guys, that's what we do. That's how we win. And you just believe what you see. And if that verse doesn't get you, how about this one? As a man believes or as a woman believes, let it be done unto him. Or her. You didn't have to go to college. You didn't have to work hard. The world will tell you it's hard work, no pain, no gain. That's an old program they're stuck on because that's the program that might have worked for them, but they're tired. They're exhausted. They don't look like they're vibrant and full of energy. They don't look healthy because they're tired. That no pain, hard work, all that. That's a horrible affirmation. Say positive affirmation, guys. Don't believe that stuff. The work is here. Now, for those that don't want to do the mental work, and then they have to do the physical work. And yes, it will be hard work. Or you can do the spirit work. And let the laws of attraction allow what the Bible says 
Let your belief dictate who you are. Let your belief, let your belief bring to you whatever it is your heart's desires. Even in the Bible, doesn't God say wherever two people on earth ask anything in my name, Jesus says, my father in heaven will give it to them. He didn't say good or bad. He didn't say I have to think about it. That's how you know you always get what you believe, not what you always ask for. Because your asking always has to add up with your belief. If you are believing for this wonderful life, if that's what you're saying with your mouth, but in your mind, guys, you're thinking, oh, man, it's probably not going to work or whatever the case may be. And then it's not. You're going to get what you believe. God is a gentleman. He's not going to He's not going to give you something that you don't believe. He's not going to give you something that you don't want. Because your belief is going to be where you really live at. So go in your mind like I just showed you guys. And just see the good for someone. And before you finish even with that, guys, always say positive affirmations. All my good is always coming to me now. Doesn't hurt to say it, right? All my good is always coming to me now. All my good is always coming to me now. Just say it throughout your day. All my good is always coming to me now. Man, I'm going to court. All my good is always coming to me now. Man, my, my, my house burnt down. All my good is coming to me now. I just lost a loved one. All my good is always coming to me now. You have to stick with that assumption and believe it. And I promise you, in its own time frame, because everything has its own time, so you gotta let time do what time does, because it has to work something out over here and then fix something over here and twist something over here and then it just all comes together and boom. What you prayed in secret, in your closet, in your mind, God says in the Bible that he will give to you in the open for all to see. Whatever it is you're thinking. That's why if you're thinking worries, he's not lying to you. He allows worry to continue to plague your mind for everybody to see. And everyone, and everyone always sees how stressed out you are. Or how angry you are. Or, or how unhappy you are. giving it to Jesus just ain't working. You got to change your mindset as well. Can't just pass the buck. You got to change your mindset. You got to change what you're speaking. You got to get rid of the negative energy. You got to dwell in a more loving place, in a more positive place. And if you're not doing that, all you're doing is prolonging your good. And tomorrow's not promised. So if you want to gamble like that, then roll the dice. Or you can take an initiative and start investing in yourself right now and start seeing these wonder, wonderful manifestations come to life right here and now. And even if you can't find two people to agree on earth, you know, one person may doubt and be weak. Or you might just be around a bunch of weak people. You know, they're not really strong. <clears throat> no problem. And then you make the agreement between you and your subconscious. You make that agreement between you and the I am, the God that lives in you, the I amness, that I amness that lives in you. You know, every time you say I am, you always identify something you're about to say to connect that word with. I am a police officer. I am a fireman, I am a teacher, I am always identifies 
what the person is getting ready to, to, to tell you who they are. So always use I am, never in a negative way. Oh man, I'm always forgetting, never say that. You know, I misplaced something. Never say you lost anything. There's nothing lost. So just say, you know, I've misplaced something. And then you go back in your mind, like I showed you, and you ask where it is. You ask your higher self, your higher self, where it is. Because your higher self knows all, has seen all, hears everything, knows everything. But if you don't have that trust and that relationship and that connection, and you have not quiet your mind to be able to dwell in these peaceful realms because of all the outside chatter and TV and whatever programs you're watching and whatever else you're listening to, that is not teaching you how to become better, how to be better, how to be stronger, how to think positive, how to raise your energy, how to become more loving because love always wins. Love never loses. It may look like it does. It may look like it takes a beating or abuse, but love never loses. Love always wins. That's why God says God is love. That's why he says I am, and he says I am. Like I said, whatever you touch I am to, he says I am love. And so are you. <laughs> So that's it, guys. Um, that's it in a nutshell. So now you know how to quiet your mind. Now you know how to get into a higher vibration, which is a better place to be in. And you're going to feel better. And you're going to look better. And you're going to have more energy. And you're going to attract better people in your life. Because keep this in mind. When you're talking negative or thinking negative or feeling negative, all you're doing is drawing those type of people into your life. And they're going to talk negative about you, feel some type of way about you, and all that that you are doing to someone else because you feel you have a legitimate excuse to do it. I get it. Everybody feels like they has a legitimate to do whatever they want to do when it's outside of loving someone. Why don't they ever make an excuse to love someone? You know why? Because that takes courage. Anybody can hate somebody. Anybody can talk negative about somebody. I mean, that's a no-brainer. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to be able to do that. You don't have to be a genius to have jealousy. You don't have to be a genius to hate on someone. Really? <laughs> Must be the smartest one in your group. It doesn't take a genius to do that. But what it does take courage to do is love those that don't love you. To be there for those that are not acting like, in a, acting the way they should towards you. To think well about people that you know are fake when you see them. That you know are not real when they speak to you. But even knowing this, you still show love. You're not even playing the game. You're just being who you really are, but they're the ones playing the game because they're wearing all these multiple masks. I'm one way with you, I'm one way with you, I talk one way with you, I talk one way with you, I act one way with you. I... That's confusion. That's why they're in the state they're in. But that's why this meditation, guys, that I showed you, which is really easy, you guys practice that and always claim that your good is always coming to you now, not tomorrow. Not hard work gets it. Not no pain, no gain. None of that junk. Get rid of all of those horrible affirmations. And claim that your desires come to you easily and effortlessly. God said all things are possible if you believe in God. Or how about his universe? Do you believe that the universe can yield you anything that you want? Or do you think what you're going through or what you want is way too complicated for like the creator of all of this wonderful architect and the people within it? <laughs> now that is the crazy, that would sound crazy, right? To not believe that. 
So yes, of course, whatever you're going through can be fixed. However you're feeling can get better. Whatever mind state you're in, you can leave that state, shut that door, and enter into a different state. Keep in mind, guys, the state that you're in, you can only pick off of the shelf of what that state has to offer. So if you're in a state of anger, you won't find love, you won't find forgiveness, you won't find peace, you won't find joy. Happy, harmonious living will not be offered there, will not be available, it will not be on the shelf. Because when you enter into a state, positive or negative, you can only pull off the shelf what that state has to offer. And if you're looking for love and you're in a hateful state or a vengeance state or a low self-esteem state, you're not going to find love. So you might as well just don't even say you can't find it because you're not going to find it. <laughs> because you're in the wrong store, you're in the wrong mall, you walk, you walk, in, you walk through the wrong door. You got to go through this, you got to walk out of that negative state. That's why we do this exercise I just showed you at the beginning of this video and walk through a positive state. And the more and more you do this, you're going to believe it. And the more and more you bless others, believe it or not, you'll be blessed. That's why, you know, you think about somebody else to help in your mind's eye. You don't have to call them. You don't have to tell them what you're doing. This is between you and your higher being. And you do it. And then when it happens, you'll be like, wow, that really happened. And if you're not careful, you'll think, oh, it would have happened anyway. And all of that wonderful work and belief that you put in to manifest that, you would have let it just go to the wayside because you would have been convinced that, oh, it would have just happened anyway. But prior to what you started to do for that individual, nothing happened for them. So come on, guys. Wise up. Don't let yourself fall into the slump. If you did it and it worked and then it was you that did it. Yes, the God in you, the I amness in you did it through you, but you were the one that took the initiative where everybody else probably didn't. I'm too busy, whatever excuses. We love excuses when we don't want to do, when we don't want to come out of our comfort zone, we love excuses. So with that being said, guys, I think this friend, woo, 27 plus minutes, who would have known? But it is what it is. It's all good news. And I'm here to share the good news with you. And on that note, I'm out. It's Winning Wednesday. You guys keep winning. You guys are all amazing. And I salute the divinity and the greatness that lies within you. Peace out. <laughs>